Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Sivartan Kamani, an Integration Technical Architect. Data Weave can bring in great deal of efficiency if uh, the Data Weave is used very effectively and efficiently. So in this video, we are going to be talking about uh, some tips and tricks that could make the code uh, more readable uh, as well as it could reduce a uh, lot of complex code that we develop in Data Weave. Let's get started. So let's uh, double click uh, the transform message and then let's expand this. Uh, let me explain the uh, content into three different sections. One first one we are going to see the uh, functions or features available in the uh, core and uh, then we are going to see uh, features that are available in uh, data v modules, uh, arrays, uh, uh, strings and objects. And uh, finally, we are going to see uh, the different uh, features that are available in uh, Java utilities like uh, uh, to bring the power of Java, we can include the required Java package and then we can use it. This is applicable even if you create your own Java module and want to bring in, we can do it so. So let's, uh, let's see what we are doing here. So we have uh, some variables in place for the demo purpose. So we have some uh, variable like place greetings. Uh, I mean, I have uh, taken as a string as well as for a number in order to do the demo. And I have uh, city of California. We're going to do some uh, operations on this. And uh, I have a different uh, uh, array variables, which I want to uh, show how array, arrays can be manipulated. Then finally, we have some uh, JSON uh, segments, which uh, which contains uh, currency with the name value pair name being country and the value being uh, currency name. And uh, we are also having these numbers where uh, it's an array of JSON with the only difference of containing multiple fields. And then we are going to see how we are going to deal with uh, individual fields and uh, how we are going to do some operations on those uh, individual fields as well. So let's get started. So um, we have the basic core functions here, which we will see one by one. So the first one is to check blank. I mean, these functions will be core and it will be very simple, but we will still feel the power of uh, data we, uh, when you want to use them individually. But when you want to combine this with each other uh, operations, then the power of data we uh, increases dramatically. So first let's see individually and then you might need to learn yourself to combine with others to put it effectively in your project requirements. So first let's check blank because this will avoid the checking individually blank uh, value or null value in if statement uh, together under a single function. And the same thing applicable here uh, I'm combining with uh, uh, is blank function checking the uh, variable I introduced here. Now we can use this instead of variable you can use uh, the data that's coming from payload as well. So third one, we are checking uh, how to use uh, decision making by using simple if. The, uh, the syntax is very simple, uh, which we have used uh, when otherwise in data v 1.0. Here in 2.0, we have very simple, like, uh, like a basic if statement, like if condition, it's true, take this value, if false, this, take this second value. And uh, we will be using some core uh, string functions uh, like upper, lower and other functions. I'm demonstrating one value. And in the, um, in the next section of this video, I'm going to explain uh, how to trace different features available in data weave. And I'm going to explain that as well. So here, um, these two lines uh, explain the contains and the starts with function, which you can uh, find it useful. Um, dynamically, you can find uh, if uh, the given value contains some uh, substring value or not. So use uh, variable uh, contains uh, uh, another string. The, it will check if this uh, substring value is available in the string variable or not. So finally, uh, we will see a start with function. Uh, I mean, like it's uh, this variable or the value starts with this value. It's, that's that simple. Let's see how we can do some array operations here. So you can see the uh, difference between two arrays, which will basically remove the common elements. Uh, so keepers is uh, uh, one array. 
batsman is one list of uh, array elements so we are going to find the difference which will find uh, elements of a that is not available in b which means basically we are removing the common elements sometimes you will find this useful because uh, if you want to achieve this feature uh, uh, without using this you might need to do a lot of uh, operations which can be simplified here by using this and we can do addition like uh, two arrays can be added so here with an array and I, we are I'm adding additional element here it's I have placed only one element you can place multiple elements to combine and to make it easy so next is uh, beautiful which I like the most uh, so I have uh, the uh, JSON it, it's a it's a key value pair and uh, I'm simply choosing the currency of the key value given so currency of India which means it's it's very simply readable and understandable better currency of India is rupee so that's what is going to come out if you say currency of USA the dollar is going to come out so that's what I have done here and you can take the array elements by position it's very simple uh, give the name of the array and uh, give the position from square bracket so that's it on the uh, core functions So next we are going to see some uh, array operations uh, that are available under uh, core arrays. So uh, uh, this is uh, amazing uh, to understand. So this finds out uh, uh, count that's satisfying this uh, criteria. So it simply takes the elements of uh, cities and then counts whichever satisfying the value that's available with the lower E. So uh, in our case Bangalore, Mangalore and Delhi. So only Bangalore and Mangalore will be counted and it will be two. So it's a very simple one. And uh, next is divide by. So it doesn't do anything with the division operation, but uh, it's uh, doing some amazing thing. So here it takes the array and it divides the array into the group of uh, single element. So the whole array is going to be split into array of individual elements. So this is amazing, but otherwise you will find it very difficult to, if you want to achieve it manually by using some other means. So if you want to divide the whole array with uh, uh, two uh, sets of two elements, uh, then you can divide it uh, by two. So this will come handy when you want to deal with uh, uh, batch operations. Uh, suppose if the incoming CSV contains uh, thousands of elements, then you want to split it uh, batch by batch and you want to do it under the batch processing, then you can use this effectively to do the initial split and uh, next is sum by and uh, sum by is used to sum the uh, elements picked up by the uh, key field so uh, imagine here it's uh, numbers containing two fields one is donation another one is rank but you want to all uh, sum up all the uh, donation which will be the summation of uh, one three and two which will be six so these three are uh, the functions available from core um, core module under which it's an arrays module. So next let's see some uh, operator before we move on to the string function. So sometimes you might want to when you are dealing with uh, variables you want to find out the type of uh, uh, the incoming value it could be either string or it could be numeric. So you want to find out what is the type and then take decision so you can use this. Uh, here uh, place will be string and the pin code will be numeric that's what we are expecting here so the next set of operations uh, um, is the one that i like the most this is a string uh, operation camelization capitalization and uh, dasherization so what are these so camelization uh, performs uh, uh, suppose uh, we take uh, uh, the given greeting is uh, welcome in all uppercase so then uh, you can see the result is uh, going to be like this. So this is a camelization. It makes uh, first letter uh, small and the rest of the letters uh, asses. And uh, capitalization, uh, I think I have changed it. So yeah, capitalization will make the first letter capital. It's like a sentence case. And dasherization converts uh, all blank and underscore into hyphen. So uh, if you want to remove uh, uh, some in-between characters, uh, if you have multiple 
uh, spaces or something, then you, this comes uh, handy. So that's about uh, uh, strings module uh, under core. And next is uh, we are going to do uh, something with uh, uh, objects. So which will be you can merge two objects, which is basically uh, two arrays. And then um, you can also find the key set. So let me explain these two. So merge with the combines currency array with the currency two, which is basically uh, India, USA and UK will all be combined together. And key set is used to retrieve only the key elements of the whole thing, which will also, which we will see here. So for example, when you combine uh, all the three, this is the merge with you. Um, so all the three elements are combined together. So from the combination, you are going to retrieve only key set values here. So that's what we have done here. It's very simple to understand. So next we will move on to uh, some math and uh, date uh, utilities uh, available in Java and we are going to use uh, floor function, random function and UTC function. So this one takes the random value. So sometimes uh, you can quickly, I mean this demonstrate the power of combining Java with the data we, which is uh, not available in the previous versions. So we are finding the random value and then we are taking the floor value. That's what is random number. So that's easily, easily achieved. And also you can find the uh, UTC under date with the six parameters uh, of year, month, day, hour, minute and second. It finds the total number of seconds uh, combining these. So let's see how these look like. So this is a random number. And if you want to refresh, you will see a different random number which is effective and uh, this is a UTC. And uh, we have four more uh, components. Uh, uh, one is the size of operator which will brings the return the number of elements in an array. Uh, so this basically brings the number of cities. So we have uh, cities here. There are three cities that's expected out. And uh, he, this one is to do the order by so which we have seen or we use in many uh, places. So we retrieve the array and we do the order by some specific field which can be identified by the dollar. So here we have numbers which comes with uh, uh, multiple fields donation and rank but we want to sort it out based on the specific field. So here I purposely uh, mixed up the donation with 1, 3 and 2 so which is expected to be in some order. We'll see here. So it's in the order 1, 2, 3. So that's a good one. And uh, the next is to do some filter with the contain, contains. So now you want to take the array and you want to filter out based on certain conditions uh, given here. So I have taken the cities and then I removed the cities that contains LORE. So basically I'm removing Bangalore and Mangalore and retaining Delhi. That's what I've done here. And uh, so this is doing the other way around. So uh, it's filtering only the records uh, or I mean this is only selecting the records. So fil uh, please uh, note that uh, again filter only selects the records satisfying this condition. So we have only uh, chosen two cities that contains LORE and here we have uh, a filter with an with a negation so which only uh, brings Delhi here. So these are very simple but effective uh, functions that you can achieve in data weave. But you try to combine uh, one feature with another uh, effectively so that uh, uh, you find this data weave's uh, real power. So now I'm going to quickly tell you uh, how to find the related and other uh, equivalent uh, components uh, like how we used in our uh, today's demo. So um, uh, go to this uh, um, website URL of uh, MuleSoft site and you can see here uh, there are different functions uh, uh, or modules uh, of data we've included and you can see uh, suppose uh, you want to see the uh, string functions that are available under uh, DW core strings you can click here and you can see there are so many string functions by upon clicking which you will see the explanation for each 
and this is for uh, uh, version 4.2 and you can navigate through others you can go to the core numbers if you want to use core alone uh, you don't need to include anything because core comes uh, with a core data weave so you don't need to uh, uh, mention it but if you want to see what is available in core uh, you can click here which you don't need to include it in the data weave and there are um, uh, each aspects uh, explained beautifully you can just click you can click and navigate uh, uh, to find out the syntax and you have dw core you have crypto and you have uh, mule uh, you want to use uh, it during this runtime you can do this and uh, you have runtime and other system uh, related functions and you can uh, get the environment variables into this and uh, we will not be able to see the entire data we functions uh, even if we have five hour video so i'm only giving clues and methodology uh, to trace and then uh, get ourselves prepared for any complex and challenging uh, functionalities uh, to be developed so you can go through this and then find out various formats uh, uh, that are available and various modules that are available under uh, data v uh, so um, feel free to go through this learn and then uh, come back to me if you find anything useful uh, i can come up with another video based on your suggestion so in this video i have tried to present you uh, the good data weave tips and tricks whichever i felt useful and that could be shared by others and uh, you may have a lot of uh, tips and tricks uh, with you and you would have done and implemented in as a part of your projects so feel free to uh, share with me those tips and tricks i'll try to publish another video mentioning those names who are sending the best tips and tricks so uh, i mean i'm also uh, trying to give away uh, 20 dollar amazon gifts to those first five best uh, tips and tricks uh, of data Week. so please feel free to send in uh, those entries to me uh, to my email id mentioned here so that's it in this video i hope you found it useful and then you liked it and uh, for this weekend i'm trying to uh, uh, come live and i'll be answering uh, the questions and clarifications uh, uh, sent by uh, anybody so please feel free to share your uh, uh, technical questions or clarifications or something that you want to share to others please uh, send those uh, to my email id which i just mentioned i would like to mention that this video has come out uh, with the inspiration of my friends mukesh vengadachalam and uh, thayagapri and dravidamani thanks to them hope you found this session useful uh, if so please like my videos and subscribe my channel i'll see you in at another good video again thanks for watching bye